Welcome back to Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Today's episode powered by Hayabusa is part two on changing angles of your strikes. This time we're using our kicks. All right, in today's episode, which is part two of changing angles with our strike, part one was all about changing angles with our boxing. We learned to do it with our jab, our cross, different variations with our hooks, and you started noticing how much better we were able to land. So the same concept is gonna go with our kicking. Now, when it comes to our kicks, we got lots of levels. We got legs, body, head, but the main thing for me when you attack is how and where you land with the shin. That's the benefit of it. All right, so let's get into the first kick that you know we're gonna talk about with angle change. It's gonna be the front kick. Now, a lot of times, the front kick is only used to the solar plexus, right? So you can see the angles coming forward. That's your traditional one, right? Now, those who have been following the channel and understand martial arts, there is a big difference between a teep and a front kick, right? I'll quickly recap this. A teep more is a, a defensive push where I'm using my hip to kind of extend, more defensive tactic. When I want to strike and do damage, that's when I use a front kick where I'll get that extension, where it's a boom, kick and return. That snapping is what's gonna drop my opponent. So let's get into it. So the first angle, I'm gonna talk about front kicks. I like to throw either side to that solar plexus, knee up and boom, and I get that extension, bang. All right, now from here, all right, obviously you're gonna get different reactions. The first one you might get is the elbows coming in, boom. The next time I go here, you're gonna get this reaction coming down, or you might get some form of parrying, right? Now, all of a sudden, I fake low, and then bang, I go upstairs to the head, right? So I'll give you some space here. So I'll show you here, I touch the body, I get a reaction, boom, I go right up to that face, okay? So that's the simpler one. I can go to lead side here, bang, changing it up to the head. That's a simple one, and every time I see front kicks to the head thrown, they end up landing, and they're not thrown a lot, so maybe mix that into your combinations as well. All right, so now the meat and potatoes when it comes to angle changing comes from our round kicks. Now, when it comes to the round kick, we're gonna start with the leg because the leg and the body are slightly different. Now, when it comes to the leg kicks, okay, the angle is very important. So when I throw a calf kick, okay, the angle for me, ideally, is I like to be on a small angle here and there's not much angles, you, can, you can't really do a cut down calf kick. The calf kick for me, more of a soccer ball mentality, all right? And a lot of times when we calf kick, we end up kicking too high on the knee, so I do like to visualize actually the height of a soccer ball. So when I come in here, boom, that's my angle, okay? I touch here. Now, when it comes to the leg is where it's very important. Now, when I throw a setup kick, setup low kicks are different than finished low kicks, okay? I'll change the angle here. My setup, I don't pivot much, and my angle is gonna be more up. So I can go here, setup, setup. Now, when I wanna finish the leg, I'm gonna cut down my kick. I'm gonna step into a pivot, and now when I come, I'm gonna use higher shin, and I'm gonna cut down on the leg, the changing of the angles. So I can sit here, and I throw a setup. I might throw a calf kick, a no pivot low kick, and then I feel the legs landed, I take a pivot, I cut down now, because I want to do damage, changing the angles. Pivot comes out, angle comes down, hit higher shin, that's how I finish the leg. So that's a good variation, set up versus cut down finish. Okay, so that's the leg. Now, similar philosophy became done to the body. Now, instead of uh, uh, what I call a setup kick, it's called a 45 kick. So most people obviously with the hands up, they leave a little space here. So this is where your 45 comes. If I only threw my traditional round kick, that's kicking the elbows. I don't wanna kick the elbows, I wanna hit the body. So from here, what I do now, the 45, it's all in the pivot and the angle. The angle of my kick is doing the 45. So small pivot, if anything, boom, I go underneath, okay? Underneath, that's my 45. I can go with the left kick or I can go right underneath the elbows, 45. Now all of a sudden, after you hit someone with a 45 kick, the elbow's gonna come down. This is when you bring in your traditional round kick. Here, bang, and you can kick the arms, right? So that's the game you play, 45 kick underneath, boom, the elbow comes down, I kick the arm. Okay, so you can start seeing now how 45 round, but that's not it. After you set this, they got comfortable blocking body shots, right? There's one more variation you can do, right? So I set it up, 45, boom, arm comes in, round kick. And then from here, I could build in a feint, 
and then cut around and throw a cut down kick. That's changing angles again. So you can see 45 round and cut down all work for you. So that's what I mean about changing angles with your strike. You can't throw your traditional round kicks because you're hitting elbows. So once you get comfortable, with your partner, get your partner to adjust his elbow positioning. And if he doesn't, as you get more advanced, you use your boxing to set it up. So for example, if Matt gives me any form of defense, that's fine. So I might jab here. Look, by jabbing here, it gets me underneath. Okay, I might throw a calf kick a little bit. His elbows are tight, I might throw a cut down. Okay, I'm gonna go 45. Circle, circle, if I'm not ready, I chop the leg. Always giving me the chop kick, boom. Okay, 45, I'm going under. 45, elbows come down, round kick, okay? cut down, bang. Okay, so you get the point. You can understand how changing angles with your kicks makes a big difference, how I'm able to land. Get them blocking here, then here, then here. Changing angles will help you land and confuse your opponent more, okay? Hope you enjoyed this two-part series on changing angles with your strikes. It becomes very important as beginners, as I keep mentioning, we always learn the traditional, which is important. Your basics should be strong. But as you get more advanced, start adding these unorthodox strikes because you'll notice those are the one that lands and gets you the knockout. Watch fights. Watch a knockout compilation of all these different knockouts. You're going to see a lot of times they're odd angles, odd positioning. They're not clean all the time. A lot of times you might even be in a, you might throw something and fall into a neutral stance and all of a sudden, boom, you just throw a shot from an odd position. A lot of times those are knockouts, especially when you put in the small gloves. All right, hope you enjoyed today's episode. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Support the channel sponsors by supporting Hayabusa by going to HayabusaFight.com. Their new T3D gloves just came out, which I'm excited for. My pair is in the mail. And we have Perfect Sports Nutrition by using code Bazooka20, 20% off your supplements, all linked in the description below for you to get access to them. And last but not least, bazookatraining.com, online curriculum taught by me for less than $10 a month. I'm teaching you everything. We have archive library of over 300 videos, brand new videos every single Monday, bag workouts, home workouts, sparring drills. It's endless from there, okay? Like, subscribe, share. We'll see you next time here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Welcome to Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA Online Training. I'm Bazooka Joe Valtellini, the owner here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Over the past year, I've designed and created a website to teach Bazooka curriculum at home and across the world. The purpose of this website is for you to one, hit your fitness and health goals, all while learning world-class martial arts instruction from me. The beautiful thing about this website, it's geared for all levels. So if you're learning martial arts for the first time as a beginner, we help you progress into the bigger stages. And if you're a pro fighter, guess what? We have different fight concepts for you to improve your tool set and your skills in the ring or cage. As the fastest rising kickboxing world champion and a lifelong martial artist with over 30 years of experience, I've been able to combine my passion for martial arts and teaching to create this website. This website's gonna give you some of the tricks, secrets, and inside look at some of the training I use to win my world title. Once you subscribe to this site, you're gonna be getting weekly training videos and tutorials that you can do from anywhere. The sections are broken up into three parts. The first is bag workout. So if you have a bag at home or at your gym, you can use these workouts to supplement your training. The second is at home workouts. A lot of us don't have the room for a bag or a bag in general, so these workouts are for no equipment needed and you can do them anywhere. And finally, the tutorial section. If you're having any problems with a specific technique or fight concept that's covered in any of the workouts, go to the tutorial section, learn the technique, and then go back to the workout, and this time, do it with proper technique. One of the added benefits once you subscribe is the forum section, where you can get a more personalized experience where you can ask questions, and I'll be able to go in there and answer them. It's all about building a team and a community of martial artists helping each other grow. So subscribe now to get access to all the videos plus more so you can be part of the squad here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA.